Good morning, everybody. Happy Shahar Ramadan to anyone who we celebrate. Um, today is day eight of the month of Ramadan for us. And um, so far, so good. I don't know if I'll make it the whole month or if not, but um, so far, so good. And my husband is making it this month. He's never made it before. Um, I think the doctor changed his uh, medication. So he has better medicine for his migraines. Um, so he can fast. Um, I have good news. My, my sister Annie uh, gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby girl. After all the scary uh, things that the doctors told her when she had a, an ultrasound, I am so happy for her because now she has another healthy baby girl. Um, she has four daughters now. Yeah, she already had three. She had uh, Melina, Lorita, and Elizabeth, and the new baby's name is Dorothy Grace. And the she also has three sons, so that's her seventh baby. And she had gone for an ultrasound early on, and they, uh, they scared her so bad, they said the baby was not gonna be viable. It was not gonna be able to live. It was this, it was that. So we all, uh, prayed and I called um, and I asked for prayers uh, for her uh, near the beginning of her journey and I told her I believe in miracles and I believe that this baby can be born healthy no matter what the doctors say so um, of course they they believe in uh, taking whatever God gives them. That's why they have seven. <laughs> but um, she, she was so scared and everyone, everyone was uh, terrified that something bad was gonna happen. And uh, God healed that baby in, her, in the womb. He healed her so she can be healthy. She was born completely healthy. Dorothy Grace. I think that's a sweet name. I uh, wanted to give you that update. Um, it was pretty cold overnight and when I went out to look at the plants, uh, the baby shoots that I have that are so adorable, um, they didn't look uh, frozen. There was no frost, but it was very nippy. So I um, went out and watered them before the sun hits them because my mom always said that if the plants get frost on them, uh, you can, if you water them before the sun shines on them, you can save them. But um, I didn't see any frost, but I still watered them already. I went out and just gave it the garden a good soak because um, it needs to water get water anyway at this point when the seeds are sprouting it needs a, a lot of water <clears throat> so there are a lot of things growing in my garden some things voluntarily that <laughs> they're not weeds they're like seeds that um, my husband eats and then he he or I threw the um, remains into the garden and it, there were enough in it that, and some of them grew. <laughs> I didn't know those were not baked. They weren't baked, they were fresh, raw. <laughs> um, I'm happy I have some seeds to, to start from one of my husband's friends uh, too. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fun gardening as soon as the 
day warms up a little, I want to go out and plant my uh, eggplant um, because it looks like this is the last cold month of, I mean, cold morning of the day of the month of March. And after March, we have, we don't usually have any concerns about frost. Um, I'm going to go, I probably need a nap or something. I always do. <laughs> Because we go to bed late, because we eat late, and then, and um, and then uh, it's hard to wake up in the morning. And, and God bless the kids; they keep going to school. <laughs> I told them tired is part of Ramadan, you know, being tired, and it's just part of it. Because uh, we stay up later um, to get everybody eat, to eat and. They would rather sleep in the morning than get up and eat uh, suhoor most of the time, on school mornings anyway. And on on, on mornings when it, on uh, nights when they don't have school the next day, they stay up all night and eat. Which they do even when it's not the month of Ramadan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go, maybe I'll take a nap. So I put, I mixed some um, apple fritter batter here. I uh, I will try to remember to post the recipe below my video. Um, I have uh, made it before. I'll, I'll see if I can find that video again and, and link it below so you can make them too if you want. Um, like like I did in the previous video, I cook the apples a little before I'm adding them, where the original recipe wants you to add raw apple. I, I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be awesome. So I put, I cooked them until they were tender and I added them. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit a while because I believe that they will be better if I let them sit a while before I cook them. Everything uh, can mix together. And um, uh, it's only two o'clock now and I'll make them this evening a little later. So they're in the hot tub. Apple fritters. I'm making them a bit small because when people are fasting, they don't need large pieces of anything. They just need little pieces. Because if you eat too, a big piece, you'll get heartburn. Your stomach won't be ready for it. I have two trays of them. And I heard we can freeze them. So I'm trying to freeze them. Some of them. So I made... Uh, Hex Mex um, Taco Tuesday. I made the kids some fried potatoes with Creole seasoning. Some white rice with butter. And some refried beans with butter and um, seasoning. The apple fritters are all done. And they are all uh, glazed. This is the ground chicken for the Taco Tuesday dinner.